Okay. Hey guys, it's Abita. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, we're going to be following a Barbie makeup tutorial. Yes, you heard it right. So a couple of days ago, I was scrolling through Liam's tablet because Liam is my son, by the way. I always like to check what he watches on his tablet. And for some reason, Barbie makeup tutorial came up in the suggestion area. And I was like, wait, what? Barbie? So I clicked on it and it turns out she has a whole channel. She's a vlogger. She has almost 7 million subscribers and I'm like, okay, like where was she when I was a child? As a child, I was obsessed with Barbie, so I click on her tutorial and I start looking at it, and it's actually a Halloween tutorial, but we're still going to follow it because I was like, oh my God, it'll be so cool if I follow her tutorial. She also has a hair tutorial, so we're going to be doing makeup and hair. So for today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow Barbie's tutorial for hair and makeup. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to play her video. First of all, this is a makeup tutorial. It's a Halloween makeup tutorial. This is the only tutorial she has this or a comic one. So it looks like she only has like Halloween makeup tutorials, not like an everyday makeup look. So her tutorial is two minutes long and I'm like, okay, in two minutes, we're gonna look like something different. <laughs> That is the fastest tutorial I have ever seen in my life. So Barbie's like, I'm here and I don't play games. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with her video. Here's her intro. Hey guys, so I've been thinking about what I wanna do for Halloween this year. And I've been wanting to do something that's really special, something that really inspires me. So I have decided I'm gonna be a deer. Yay! Yes, Barbie! So I've always seen these tutorials like on YouTube, like last minute Halloween costumes, like DIY and stuff like that. But I never really tried to do a deer makeup look. So for today, I'm super excited to see how this is going to come up. We're gonna get started with the DIY, so let's see what's the first step. Here's how I'm gonna do my deer makeup. I like to start with a light foundation all over my face to even out the color. Okay, so I have this one, which is the LA Girl Foundation Mixing Pigment. This is the only one that I have, um, so we're going to be using this. And it looks like she has a kabuki brush, so I'm thinking we're going to be using this one. Then I use a white foundation stick or makeup. I put triangles under my eyes and around the nose and on the forehead and above the eyes and on your eyelids. Then blend it in. Okay, hold on. I'm a little bit shook. Foundation, foundation, here, eyes, and then blend. Dang, sis, her blending skills are hella good. Oh my god, do you guys see how like well she blended the nose area? I don't know if mine's gonna look like that, but we're gonna try. So I'm going to put some of the foundation on this mixing tray. If we're being honest, I'm a little scared right now. I don't know if this is going to blend well or not. Okay, so she said form little triangles, like small little triangles, like this. Small little triangles. Okay. She also said here. Now this whole, I don't know how she blended the nose. Like she has white all over the nose and then she blended it so good. I think Barbie is like not showing us all the freaking steps. She skipped like so many steps. Okay. She also said she applied some on the top of the eyes, like on the eyelids. So we're gonna do that. I think that should be good enough. I don't want to add too much because I don't know how this is going to blend. Hopefully this blends well. Should we add a little bit more to the forehead? Let's add a little bit more. Okay. There we go. So then she said to just blend. Okay, so we're going to blend this out. So I'm going to take the same sponge that I used to apply my foundation. I do have foundation on because she looks like she has foundation on, so I was guessing she already had foundation on, so we're going to go ahead and blend this out. I love how she didn't show us, like, the blending process. She just said, and blend, like, okay, bitch. That actually does not look that bad, guys. I thought it was going to be, like, way worse. Okay, so I really can't see the white foundation anymore because I feel like it's completely gone. So let's apply a little bit more. And let's just, she kind of like marks it from like the eyebrows down. So she's not showing me the tutorial all the way, but I'm guessing this is kind of like how she did it. Looks pretty close. And then she kind of just like takes it up 
like this. Okay, that's starting. Mm -hmm, that's starting to look more like a deer. Now we're talking Barbie. You didn't give me like the tutorial all the way, but I kind of just like figured it out. She was like, I'll kind of show you, but you gotta figure it out though. Okay, so that looks a little bit more realistic. What do you guys think? That's better. Let's move on to the next step. I like to then put a shimmery white eye makeup on the lids like this. So I'm going to be taking the Makeup Shack palette and I'm going to probably be mixing these two colors to get like that white shimmery shadow. I'm taking a very similar brush to hers. So hers doesn't look really like shimmery, it looks more like white, but I'm still going to add a little bit of shimmer on top. Let's see what she does next. Then take a darker contour color, light to medium brown, contour your cheekbones like this. I also put a little bit around my forehead Bruh. and a little bit under the lower lip. Then blend it in. Okay, so I'm guessing she took a powder contour so we're going to be using hula benefit and i'm going to take this brush and we're going to start contouring she said contour cheekbones she said a little bit i'm not sure if hers is a little bit okay i want to see how her contour looks she looks hella bronze so we're gonna go hard with the contour oh yeah that's starting to look more like hers I love it. Love it. We have to go a little heavy on the contour though. Okay, and then she said some um, underneath the lip. All right. There we go. That's what we look like. <laughs> now we're going to do the eyes. And for this, she is using a black eyeliner. Let's see what she does. And now the eyes. You want to elongate the inner corner of the eyes. Work from the inside of the eye out. Add mascara. Okay, hold on the inner corner of the eyes. Work from the inside. Barbie, guys, she didn't teach me how to do like the little inner corner. And then the next light is like, her eyes are already perfect. And she already has lashes on. What the heck? Okay, so I'm going to be using my NYX liquid liner and matte. So she basically took it all around her eyes from what it seems in this frame. So we're gonna do that. I've never done this to my eyes, so I don't know what this is going to look like. So, she did it basically all around her eyes, although she didn't tell me. And then that little inner corner part is what gets me. I don't know how to do that. Okay, y'all. <laughs> this eyeliner is just getting thicker and thicker. She has it like all the way to like her lower lash. I can't right now. My eye looks nothing like hers. My whole eye shape changed, dude. I look so different. <laughs> Guys, Barbie played me. She makes everything look so easy. She said, add a little bit of mascara. We're going to add mascara to our top lashes too. Okay, let's move forward. And voila, beautiful doe eyes. Voila, beautiful doe eyes. Okay. Now use a small brush and use a dark brown powder or eyeliner. Fill in your eyebrows. Don't be afraid to make them stand out. Then... Can we talk about her technique of doing her brows? Dang, if only it was that easy, she was like, just go ahead and grab a brush. Okay, Barbie, I see you with like your makeup skills. You're skipping steps, girl. You're not telling us the whole tea over here. So I do have this for the brows. So I'm going to be using this. And she said, don't be afraid to make them darker. I'm guessing this is the part where she fills in her brows. But dang it, it looked like she already had her brows filled in. And we're gonna go heavy. I mean, she said, don't be afraid to go heavy on the brows. I mean, it is a Halloween dear look, so either you go big or you go home. Okay, let's make them a little bit longer. That's the brows. Okay, what's next? Take the brush and powder and extend down from the eyebrows along the top of the nose down to the tip. She was just like, whew, whew. I'm a pro. Okay, I'm gonna be using this CoverGirl liquid liner. Okay. Oh, that's actually, I didn't do that bad. Okay, what's next? Down to the tip. And fill in the tip of your nose like this. Okay, so we have to fill in the tip of the nose now. Okay, so the next step is to... And the final touch. I put white dots on my cheeks and above my eyes. 
Okay, so for the final touch, she did white kind of like freckles. So let's do that. I'm going to take this small brush. I'm going to dip it in the white foundation and kind of just do dots basically everywhere. Okay. What else? Ta-da! Oh, wait. I can't be a deer without powerful antlers. So I attached long twigs to hair bands. And... Ta-da! Ta-da! I am missing the little branches she has on her hair, but she has a hair tutorial that I want to follow that just looks too good to not try. But... What do you guys think? This is what it looks like. The makeup tutorial. Do I look just like her? I love how she was like, ta-da! And I'm like, ta-da! Let's move on with the hair tutorial. Now, in this, she is doing a unicorn hair tutorial. So let's see her intro for this. Hey there, it is craft day with Chelsea. What are we gonna make today? Well, I wanted to share with you something that Herberto and Hazel taught me how to make. Unicorn hair! Fantastic! What do we need? We will need a couple of rubber bands, a comb, hair pins, uh -huh. tape, okay. and a piece of cardstock cut into a square. Cardstock? Yeah, five inches on each side. Okay, first thing we do is to separate a section of the hair in the front like this. So she said we need to kind of like section the hair. So we turn this way. So we take a section of hair. She leaves it to the front. I'm having way too much fun with this hair tutorial. Okay, so we have the front piece. Keep it separate, and we work on the unicorn tail. You divide the ponytail into two parts, then... So let me go ahead and separate this section. I'm so excited. If this unicorn hair comes out good, I'm going to be screaming. She has a high ponytail, so that looks kind of like it. So we're going to attempt, guys, attempt to make this hairstyle. I don't even know if this is gonna come out good or not, but that's our high unicorn tail. Now we have to do the bottom. What's next? Take the first section of hair and you make a really high ponytail with it and you tie it with a hairband. You see? Okay, then you take the hair from the smaller ponytail. Wait, she explained to me how to do the top part, but I had already done it. Okay. And we wrap it around the main ponytail, just like this. And Hazel taught me to secure it with a bobby pin. Wrap it around so we can kind of hide the hair tie. And then we're just going to secure it with a bobby pin. Y'all, I'm sweating over here. This is hard. This is harder than it seems. And this tutorial is only 2 minutes and 43 seconds long. They keep their tutorials like... Nice, short, and straight to the point. Now you have a nice high unicorn tail. Okay, now for the horn. You take your square cardstock and you roll it into a cone like this. And then secure it with tape. So she said roll the piece like this. How does she roll it? Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Like that. It. And then we're gonna wrap it with tape to secure it. Then you wrap the hair around the cone and secure it with a bobby pin. And ta-da! Let me scoot back a little bit. Okay, and then you wrap your hair around it? Like what? Y'all, I think it's way too long. Okay. Okay, and then she just said to wrap your hair around it like this. I don't have that much hair though. And she says to carry with a bobby pin. I'm done. Should I cut it shorter, like even shorter than this? Let's try. Okay, 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 okay. It's coming through, it's coming through. Okay, this, this, okay, this one looks a little bit better than the other ones that I was trying with. Can you guys see that? How do I secure the horn though? Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, okay. Hold on. Okay. Mm -mm. Let's see what hers looks like. And ta da! Unicorn hair! <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think, Barbie? <gasps> I love it. She said, ah! 
I love it. How? Let's finish watching the rest. It makes me feel like anything is possible. She said, it makes you feel like anything is possible? Are you serious? Because that's how it feels to be a unicorn, right? That's right. Oh, you look so pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Chelsea. Can you do my hair like this every day? Of course. Oh, fantastic. I cannot. Let me take this off. All right, and I am back. The hair tutorial was definitely a big fail. That is so embarrassing. The good thing is that I told you guys it was going to be an attempt, so... There you go. It was a big fail. I tried my hardest. I really did try, guys. I was, like, trying hard. But it was just so difficult to do it. Like, I don't know how. No, actually, I do know how. Like, Barbie lives in her perfect little magical world. So, obviously, her hair is just going to be, like, bam. All, like, rainbow colors looking, like, bomb a up and mine's gonna be like okay this is not even like nowhere near it so as for the makeup i don't think it was that bad i feel like we didn't do as bad as the hair tutorial today's video was just fun and games just have like a good laugh so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe so you can be part of the picture family and don't forget to turn your post notifications hit the little bell so i can notify you the next time i upload a new video leave me a comment down below of what do you think of today's video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.